On that bloody Sunday, 55 years ago, it was a bridge too far, a climb too steep for John Lewis and the other peaceful marchers who were caught in a vice of police brutality. But on this Sunday, yesterday, the road was clear for John Lewis. Atop a horse-drawn caisson, he was carried across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, completing the journey that symbolized who he was. He embraced nonviolence, but he didn't flinch from the blows that would come either. By the time he suffered that vicious beatdown in Selma, he had already faced attacks and ridicule. But it was that bridge, the way to Montgomery to petition for voting rights, and that awful Sunday that so clearly defined the tenacity and courage that was John Lewis. A moment that shamed America, framed the life of a peaceful warrior for justice. We came here to protest an unjust system of denying blacks the right to vote. And we met people who did not want us here. They call us troublemakers. We walked to the apex of this bridge. We stopped and realized we could not turn back. And when we look ahead, we saw a sea of blue. Alabama State Troopers. History reminds us that on March 7, 1965, we loved America so dearly. We were ready to die for her. His final crossing, spanning the tenterhooks of time and history. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.